questions one to four. You will hear a talk about a museum. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. First, you have some time to look at questions one to four. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Welcome to the Museums UK audio series, a collection of downloadable audio files introducing the best of British museums. My name's Sam Cooper, and in this file, I'll be introducing the Ashmolean Museum of Art and Archaeology in Oxford, with its fabulous collections of Eastern and Western art, antiquities, casts, and coins. It's one of the oldest public museums in the world, and it's actually part of Oxford University, though it's free to go in whether you're a student or not. You'll find the main museum in Beaumont Street, near the centre of Oxford, close to both the railway station and the bus station. Opening hours for visitors are from ten o'clock in the morning till five in the evening on Tuesdays to Saturdays, twelve to five on Sundays. And ten to seven on Thursdays in the summer months. It usually closes for three days over Christmas, a couple of days at New Year, and three days for the St Giles Fair in early September. You can take photos in the galleries, but only with handheld cameras and not using flash or lights, which can do serious harm to exhibits. Also, as long as you follow all the copyright regulations. And you get permission from the staff on duty. You can ask for antiquities documents of less than one hundred years in age to be photocopied, at a cost of five p per A4 sheet. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions five to ten. Now listen and answer questions five to ten. Perhaps not surprisingly, given its links with the university, the Ashmolean has an education service for schools and the general public. Activities include guided group visits, which for adults last sixty minutes and cost four pounds each. This makes the minimum price per group twenty-eight pounds. As group sizes vary from seven to fifteen people, visits by groups of young people take the same amount of time as the adult tours, but cost just two pounds for university students. So, with at least seven to a group, the lowest price is fourteen pounds. Though please note that there's an upper limit of fourteen group members rather than the fifteen for adults. For schools, there are visits to suit all age groups. And for the most popular ones, such as those to see the Greek and Egyptian collections, it's best to book a term in advance. Tours last fifty minutes, starting at ten fifteen, eleven thirty, and a quarter past one, with a maximum of thirteen children per group. Now, if you're free in the middle of the day, why not go along to one of the forty-five minute lunchtime talks? There's a really wide range of topics. On the nineteenth, for example, the subject is Greek mythology, and on the twentieth, there's celebration of India. Both begin at one fifteen, the usual time for these talks, and they're held every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Another regular feature on Saturday mornings through to the afternoons are the workshops. If you're interested in developing your own illustrative and artistic skills, these are for you. They're aimed at artists of varying levels of experience and are always led by practicing artists. Running for six hours from ten o'clock, this is wonderful value at just five pounds, including basic materials and also a decent cup of coffee. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
this is old Bob. I would very much appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and share this video as this will enable me to help more old students reach their old goals. Very much appreciated. Thank you.